Good morning, Bumblebeezies. Happy Thursday. Ariel already went to work, so I'm gonna be lonely today. I already had my breakfast. I just had English muffin again, and then I'm having coffee in this mug again. Same one from yesterday. I'm having Dunkin' Donuts with French vanilla creamer this time. It's very good. Drive Shop is going to be picking this car up tomorrow, so I wanted to share with you guys. This car right here is a 2016 Mazda 6 Grand Touring in the color Soul Red. I love this color, you guys. It's so bright. You can see this car like so easily um, when you park it in the parking lot. That's the only way I found my car, you guys, because of this color. It's so nice. Um, so I'm going to go around the car, and then I will show you guys the inside. It's got some pretty big rims. And it, the design of this car is so sleek. I love it. And surprisingly, it's very spacious inside, actually. I have a Camry, and the inside of this car is just as spacious as my Camry. So here's the back. And then the other side. And let's go inside. Or actually, let me show you guys the trunk first. So here's the trunk. Oh, that's Ariel's bowling bag. It's a very big trunk, you guys. So if you had a lot of groceries or if you had a lot of big stuff or if you're going on a trip, you can fit a lot of stuff in there. There's a little compartment right there. And then there's one, another compartment on the other side. And then it has the 60-40 split folding seats. So if you need to fit something very long, you could just fold that seat down and it would fit. This car also has the keyless entry. So if you have the key like in your pocket or just somewhere on you, you can just, you don't even have to like push the button. You can just push this on the handle and then it unlocks. And the interior of this car is so pretty, you guys. I love this leather. The color is so pretty. It's sort of like, I don't know, off-white, but the leather is so pretty, you guys. So, one of the features that I really, really love about this car, well, it has push to start. And then it has this thing right here that flips up, and you'll be able to see your speed. You see right there, it says zero miles per hour, so as you're driving, you'll see the road, and then you'll see your speed right there. It's so cool. This car also alerts you when there are cars coming. If there's a car in your blind spot, you'll see actually like these two little cars on your rear, on your side view mirror, and then it like flashes and it blinks at you. And you can also like if you don't want that, you can turn it off right there. And then there's like this other feature right here where it beeps at you too. And then it has your display right here. It has a navigator, Bluetooth, basically all the cool high tech stuff that you would want in a car. So it has all these apps right here. You can connect it to your phone. You can even um, connect to Pandora through your phone. I don't have my phone with me, but um, you can also have XM radio. You would select here if you wanted to connect it to your phone all through here. I'm, I'm doing it right here. There's this little knob where you can select music. There's the home button and then the navigator. This is also a touch screen, I believe, but I don't use the, I haven't used the touch screen. I've just been using this dial knob. I really like this dial knob. I don't know. It just seems really cool to me. It's different. It also tilts up and down to make different selections and then you can turn it that way. This is for the radio right here, just the volume and then um, you can turn it on and off that way. And then it has the map. Very easy to use. I love this because it's clearly labeled everything is right there. When we connected my phone to the car, it was really simple. You didn't have to enter any codes. You just paired the device and it was really super simple. I'm trying to find where the Pandora is. I want to show you guys that. Okay, here. So you find the entertainment right here. There's FM, AM, XM. A Pandora, Bluetooth, it even has USB. So yeah, that's really cool. And then here's the brake right here. It has one of these little electronic handbrake things. And then it also has these paddles right here. I don't know if you guys can see. Right here, there's this paddle. I didn't I don't use the paddle, but um yeah, those that's just another cool option. And then on the steering wheel you have all these buttons. You have the volume info. Everything is here, cruise control, you can, you know, make a phone call and or answer the phone and then hang up the phone. This seat, you can also set your 
your uh, you can set the seat to where you want it. So like if you know if your husband or your wife is, if you guys are a different height and you one person needs their chair to be way back, one person needs their chair to be way up, you can set that right there. And then it has all these electronic ad seat adjustments, which I really really like because it's so easy to adjust your seat. And then it also has seat warmer right here. So this one has the driver side and the passenger side both have seat warmers which I really really love especially now that it's winter and the seats are leather so the warm the seat warmer really does come in handy. Uh the visor also has a mirror there's me hi and it has a light and then I like that it has the extender right here. And it has also a it also has a sunroof which I love. I love the sunroof. It brings in a lot of light. We didn't really get to use it though because it's too cold right now. I just open it like this, but I don't I haven't opened like the actual window portion because it is way too cold, you guys, and it's been rainy. The car also has sport mode. So if you want to drive, you know, a little faster, a little sportier, you can put that in sport mode. There is a 12 volt charger right there. It does have a CD player just right here. And then in here are the cup holders. I like that it's concealed. So there's the cup holders, and I like that it just slides like that. It's really nice. It looks very sleek. And then you have another compartment in here. And there is USB, and there's an SD slot. I always think it's cool that there's SD slots. I guess if... I'm not sure what you use it for, but I heard it's for the navigator system to update it. There's actually a card in there. And then there is one another 12 volt. And let's go to the back and see what it's like back there. So in the back, you can see it's super roomy. I am not too tall. I'm 5'4", um, but I do have a lot of leg room. And this chair is actually kind of like pushed back. You can see that one is a little bit more forward. So there's a lot of room. Three adults could easily fit back here. And I imagine a car seat could, com like two car seats could com comfortably fit back here. There's also cup holders right there. It's very nice. And then they have their own air vents right here. And you have your window, and there's a little compartment here behind each seat. So that is the car, you guys. I love this car. I like how it's super roomy back here. It's very spacious. This would be good for long trips, you guys, because it would be so comfortable. And then I really love the keyless entry because say you're holding like a lot of stuff and you don't have like the key on you, or you can't like grab it out you can just push that button and it'll unlock as long as you have it on your body or, or you know near the area near the car so that's really cool and then I really really love the uh, this thing that pops up right here with that shows you your speed let me show you guys again it's so cool because then you can easily see your speed you don't have to look down here but you can also see your speed here it does have a speedometer there as well but see that it's so cool and it shows the road too. You can see that right there. Let me zoom you guys in. You can also adjust the height of that. So when I first got into the car, it was not at the right height because I'm kind of small. So you can raise it or lower it very easily on this screen right here. Using the knob, you would just go to the settings, which is just right there. And then you can easily adjust it. This car also gets pretty good gas mileage, which I'm very happy about. I have been driving this car now for six days, and when I got it, it was a full tank. And you can see right there, it's only less, a little bit less than half. And um, Ariel has been driving it to work, and his job is about 15 minutes on the freeway, so that's pretty good on gas. It gets 28 miles in the city and 40 miles on the highway, so I really like that about this car, you guys. And one more last look at the car. Definitely recommend this car you guys if you're looking for a sedan. This is it right here. I love it I probably rate this like a 9 out of 10 just because it's I don't know <laughs> It would be a 10. It could be a 10, but it's really really nice you guys. I love it my lunch break and I'm doing some laundry and I'm also going to make lunch today well not really make anything I'm just warming up this chickenless mandarin orange morsels I got these yesterday at um, Trader Joe's never tried these before so I'm hoping that they're good um, they're just basically made of like grains and uh, I don't know grains carrots 
some other stuff, flavorings, some different kinds of flowers and stuff. So we'll see how that goes. And then it comes with this sauce. Have to warm up the sauce and then just, when they're done baking, uh, cover, the so cover them with sauce. And I'm gonna watch Little Mermaid. I have not watched Little Mermaid in a while, you guys. I think months. That's surprising, right? So here is the vegan um, chicken, not vegan chicken, that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> the vegan, well I guess, yeah, the mandarin, the chickenless mandarin orange morsels. I'm going to eat this with rice and I'll let you know if it's good. This is so good, you guys. Tastes just like chicken and it's really, really good. I'm picking up AJ and all of a sudden it starts pouring cats and dogs. Actually, it's actually just pouring rain. It's just pouring big raindrops, but you know, cats and dogs. Hi, AJ. Hello. Good thing you didn't start walking home, huh? Yeah. That would have been really bad. I have an umbrella, though. Oh, you did? You brought it? Yeah. Smart. We're watching episode two of Star Wars. What do you call this one? Attack of the Clones. Let's see your picture, Vanessa. Cute. Very good, Vanessa. So I'm getting ready to head out and go to the gym. Here is my outfit. Um, this is all Fabletics, so the sports bra, and then the back of the sports bra, it's pretty like an open back, and then it has this thing that comes around, so there's like two straps. This one just goes around the neck, and then the top, also Fabletics, has these black stripes. This part's like mesh, and then the black full-length workout leggings this time because it's pretty cold, and since we're not taking spin class, um, I probably won't get as hot. Or, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. We shall see. And then I'll wear my black Nikes. Bye, Baba. Hi. Good luck. It's over my jacket. It's cold. I yeah. just woke up. You just woke up. Uh, take the, take the Celica, okay? got back home from the gym my legs are burning so bad my thighs are burning because we did squats I normally don't do squats because I get worried about my knee um, but I did I think 50 squats today and then I stepped onto the treadmill and my thigh was instantly burning like I think AJ. Yeah. I think I stopped the camera from recording but I was saying that it was burning like right up here burning so bad you guys and now I'm gonna have me some dinner and some melons I bought these melons yesterday they're so good bought them at Trader Joe's sweet huh looks like a cantaloupe but it's, it's this right here it tastes like cantaloupe a little bit but it's like smaller I don't know and it didn't say cantaloupe, it had a different name, but I can't remember what it was. Vanessa, did you take a shower? No. Oh, I thought your hair was wet. What episode is this? Four. Episode four? Did you guys watch episode three without me? No. So you guys have not seen episode four yet? I mean three? No. Okay, can you put the blanket on yeah. me, please? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop that. Why'd you hurt me? You're a hooligan. <laughs> a hooligan. I can't even run. My legs are like jello right now. Then why don't you sit back down? Okay, 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 okay. Put the blanket on me. <laughs> I'm trying to run to get his blue blanket. And I say no thanks. 
Hold on, you didn't put the blanket on me very well. That's a lie. Look, <laughs> Look I wasn't I wasn't even prepared. I was laying my feet were on the floor. What else? I just stole your blue blanket. Did you see that? Oh my goodness. Good evening, Bumblebeezies. It's that time to go to sleep. I just came back from bowling and we won two games out of three. So that's good, right? Two games out of three. Yeah. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. And do not mind me. Bye. Bye. Hey, wake up. Bye, everyone. Talk to you tomorrow. Oh my god. Bye.